welcome to a rather unusual edition of Mark and Dave's Lifting the Lid. Uh, Mark. And I'm Dave. I can actually swear I heard someone saying I'm Dave once, I'm sure I did. Um, today we are going to lift the lid on the acoustic solid wood MPX. Now Grant by his magic trickery and use of amazing digital technology We'll be able to intercept probably a little cutaway, perhaps where Dave would be sitting right now, nodding his head, mm -hmm. and instead we'll have perhaps a uh, picture in picture. Is that possible, Grant? Could be. Yeah, yeah could Maybe. be. Maybe, we'll uh, see. Right, he's been coy now, he's been very coy, uh, of the turntable in question. This is a brand new uh, venture for us in terms of the collaboration with Acoustic Solid, is very new. You've probably seen uh, existing turntables in our product lineup before, and one of the reasons we were, I was asked this uh, just the other day why we've chosen Acoustic Solid, and it's a very easy question to answer. There are lots of turntable brands out there. In fact, you could just type in high end turntables and you will be presented with a choice of how many, Dave? Over 20, Dave says, uh, of turntables. And uh, and that's brands, not even just individual models. And it's very difficult to choose something simply based on perhaps a review or even aesthetics. For me, there are three key elements that differentiate a high-end, true high-end brand from something that's perhaps mass manufactured. Firstly and foremost is the passion of the designer to create something that's absolutely unique. Yes, yeah, so I'm coming to that, Dave, sorry. Uh, you know, even when he's not here, he's still talking to me. Uh, you realise that this is something that is really crafted out of passion. There's a real sense of precision engineering with the turntables. The next part really it leads on from the first, and that is the, the, the build quality. And in fact, if you go on to the Acoustic Solid website, on the right-hand side of the main web page, there is actually a video of their, one of their turntables or a range of their turntables being constructed and you can tell straight away that this is something that is built with a lot of care. And of course the most important aspect is what they sound like. So we've got the aesthetics, the aesthetics are really without question, they are, well be Dave agrees as well, I mean he was saying to me just a few seconds ago uh, that the aesthetics are some of the nicest that he's ever seen on a turntable. The sound, however, is phenomenal. And this is the part that I'm going to probably spend a bit of time talking about because to find phenomenal, it's such, it can be such an ambiguous word. One person's phenomenal is someone else's disappointing. And you know, ask any person that's been in a failed relationship <laughs> what that might be. And I think you could also class that some manufacturers just don't get this cohesion of all the different parts right but acoustic solid definitely do. The sound is phenomenal, and the first thing that really strikes you is there is a solidity and weight to the sound. A lot of turntables that I've listened to recently, in fact, Dave and I were, although he's not here, he actually generally isn't here, it's not there's something wrong with the camera. Uh, he's not a vampire, it's not like a, he'll not appear on uh, videos like he wouldn't appear in a mirror. He genuinely is on holiday uh, this week, but before he went on holiday, we were chatting about the key strengths of acoustic solid. And some turntables, when you listen to them, they are a little bit, and I'll use the term lightweight, and I don't mean it in, in the sense of that the, the, the sound is light and airy, which you kind of want at times, but there's something just lacking, it's almost like a thinness to the sound. So the thing with acoustic solid is high frequencies are absolutely incredible, great detail, microdynamics are outstanding, but there is a solidity to the sound, which means that instruments take a sense of realism and anybody that's been in a live venue and heard a bass guitar or a snare drum or a double bass or a cello knows exactly what that means and that's what we want you know and this is the thing with acoustic solid the realism just really takes you by surprise so the turntable that we're looking at today is the solid wood mpx now there's two versions of this there's the mpx and there's the solid wood now interestingly we posted a very short video and there's I think some photographs on our social media uh, within the last week and someone commented on the fact that the construction was uh, plywood. Now 
for those of you who don't know, most turntable uh, plinths are usually made of MDF and there's nothing involved in the construction of that other than slapping a bit of veneer on it when you're done or painting it. There's a very complex process that acoustic solid create and the actual amount of plywood, the spacing, the physical uh, depth of each piece is calculated with precision and there's a, there's a, a very strong reason for that. It's how the uh, plinth then interacts with every other aspect of the turntable itself. This particular model in this configuration it comes with a modified regaton arm uh, and the uh, to give it the, cassette, the, the correct uh, name, it's the WTB370. Uh, there's so many things to remember about this. I just want to double. I thought it was WTB, but it also comes uh, with an Ortofon uh, Quintet uh, red uh, moving coil cartridge, which is about a sort of a 300 pounds moving coil, which is actually not a bad uh, starting point for moving coil. But it's as a package, it retails at just over 3,000 pounds, and honestly, that's a lot of money. There's no doubts about it, but when you consider what else you can buy for that sort of money, it then starts to look kind of crazy value for money. So let's talk about some of the key points here. As a package, it weighs about 35, 40 kilos. If you use the uh, spindle weight of the record clamp, that adds quite a bit of weight to the overall uh, package of the turntable itself. You have a separate motor, so it's housed separately, you'll see again in the video as we sort of pan round the turntable, um, yeah, sorry, sorry I'm just coming at that day, I'm so impatient, uh, <laughs> there is um, the drive belts attached to that and then goes around a high mass uh, platter as you, as you can see. Uh, the power supply is micro, pre micro processor controlled, see you just get tongue tied with some of these words, the terminology. Um, so. As I said, the sound is the part that will really grab your attention, but again, with a lot of turntables, they can look good, but don't sound good. They can sound good, but not look so good. And I think when you see the videos of this turntable, and as we sort of pan around it, it is probably one of the best looking turntables I honestly have ever set eyes on. And everybody, the pictures don't do it justice. When you see it in the flesh, it, it has got a real presence about it. it it's quite spectacular. And what we're going to do, um, for anybody that's seen this video, and there's going to be an offer coming up at the end, so unfortunately it means you have to watch it all the way through. Uh, it's a little trick with you so you, you don't miss any of my little jokes, and Dave obviously will be chatting with you in a minute. Dave, okay, come into it, don't worry, come into it. He's just so desperate to get this out. Uh, so you will get an opportunity to buy this turntable at a very good offer price. And not only that, we're going to give you a full... 30 day money back guarantee on any of the acoustic solid turntables that we have in stock. Now we've got about five different models currently in stock. If you visit the acoustic solid website you will see that there are two ranges of turntables. There's the aluminium line and the classic line. So the wood MPX, the, the solid wood MPX that we have here is in the classic line but there is a whole range of aluminium line turntables. The price ranges start from around about £2,000 and go upwards. Honestly, if you're in the market for a turntable and one of these turntables fits at your price point, without any hesitation and a 100% recommendation from me and Dave, of course, um, you should at least audition it compared to what else is out there. And genuinely, I know I hear this expression all the time, oh, it will compete with something costing twice as much and three times as much. Genuinely, I would love you, if you've got a turntable that you're thinking about upgrading, bring it into the showroom, let's get it set up, we'll do an A-B comparison. If you're looking at turntables around the sort of £3,000 mark and you want a home demonstration, get your other dealer to give you their turntable and home demonstration. We'll deliver this turntable to you and then you can do a meaningful comparison of the acoustic solid versus whatever else. And I will be utterly amazed if you don't concur with our own findings, which is why if you look at our turntable ranges that we offer, everything else apart from acoustic solid has gone. 
and it's for very good reason. Hand on heart, because these are so good, it would be remiss of us to even recommend something else. And I don't think there's any other range of products that we represent where that's the case. Everything's got strengths and weaknesses. There's always plus points and minus points. Everything can always be a bit of a compromise. However, when you get something that universally at each price competes, not only competes, but betters the competition, why would we not then just only recommend that turntable as it, as it is in this case? There's great upgrade options. They've got their own high-end tone arms that you can see on our website. There's great accessories. They do a brilliant turntable stand. So like a lot of people, you don't have space on a rack because you've already got amplifiers on there. Acoustic Solid give you an option of a separate stand for this turntable and others in the range that you can simply site next to your existing racks. So positioning then doesn't become too much of an issue. But they are kind of a centerpiece and to be honest if you own this turntable you want to put it in a place where everybody can see it. It's honestly that good. Um, what we'll do then, uh, we'll have a slight break here. I'll get Grant to grab the camera off the tripod and we'll have a quick talk round the turntable itself so you can actually see firsthand what we're talking about. And then we'll have a little summary at the end where I'll talk about the special offer that you can have and um, that'll be us. You, you'll be free to go back to your normal life and then Dave can get back to his holidays as well, which is, I really appreciate him coming in on his holidays. Um, yeah, yeah, we're just coming to the offer, Dave. Don't worry, honestly, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Right, uh, let's show you a little bit more of the turntable. So here we are at the actual turntable itself. And as I mentioned uh, previously, this particular package comes with the Ortofon and it's the Quintet series range, and this is the Quintet Red, which is a moving coil. It retails around about £300. And actually, for an entry-level moving coil cartridge, it sounds really good. So depending on your phono stage, that's going to be a great addition. If Grant now comes to the, um, the record weight, which you can see there, it's a kind of beautiful piece of engineering too. What's interesting with these is that most of you will be aware that you can buy record weights off Amazon for 20 or 30 pounds because a lot of manufacturers charge 200, 300, in some cases even 700 pounds for a record clamp. The acoustic solid one, whilst not as cheap as the ones you'll buy on Amazon, it does offer great value because this is a properly engineered uh, record weight and clamp. And it's, you can see the polished finish on it. As I said, I've seen some of the ones that have been bought off Amazon. In fact, one of our clients bought one. And if I'm being honest, he was a bit disappointed with it when he got it. It wasn't as heavy as he expected it to be, and the finish certainly wasn't as good. So yes, you can buy it for less, but you kind of want it all to, to match. And this is where you won't have to um, pay you know, what you would consider to be too much for the acoustic solid one that actually goes with this turntable. As we spoke about in the video, you can see the plywood design here. And... You know, this is not a this is not a, a, you know as straightforward a process as you might imagine, and certainly compared to constructing a plinth out of uh, MDF, there's a lot more work goes into this. The video probably doesn't do the finish really justice. The the corners are beautifully finished off. There is absolutely no part of this turntable that you could even remotely say doesn't smack of really high end and, and high finish. And again, the build on it is fantastic. Coming back to tone arm for a second, this obviously is the modified Rega arm that we mentioned earlier on. Uh, the, the wiring is slightly different internally, and obviously it's been built to acoustic solids own specifications. You can dispense with the arm and cartridge, and we can order you just the straight turntable on its own, and we can specify any arm mount that you wish to have. So. Putting another tone arm in here is actually very straightforward. Moving just to the, the motor. Now, as we know, this is um, electronically controlled from the controller at the front of the turntable, which we'll come to in a second. But again, a beautifully engineered motor sitting well away from the plinth itself, so it can't uh, either be affected by vibration from the plinth, nor can it add to the vibration either. And generally speaking, external motors, in fact, not generally, 100% that an external motor will give you a far superior sound than one that's actually incorporated onto the, the construction of the turntable itself. 
Also, I mentioned uh, earlier about the manufacture of the um, platter. Now, if you look at the video that I mentioned on the Acoustic Solid website, you'll actually see some of the engineering and the CNC work that goes in to make these, and it's very impressive to say the least. I mean, you can see, hopefully, you can see from this video just how beautiful a turret, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, coming down to the actual motor control at the front here. This is actually, it doesn't have to go there. We've just positioned it there because it's quite convenient. But you've got your on-off control, 45-33. And these two, uh, for those of you from the digital age, might think, ah, oh, great, I can fast forward to the next track. Uh, you try that, all you'll find is that it'll just speed up, so it'll just play your record faster. So these are, when you put the strobe mat on and you set the correct speeds, if you think there's any variance, these do micro adjustments until you get it exactly right. It's really good because, again, with a lot of turntables, you have to get a small screwdriver and adjust the pop that controls the, the, the speed of or the voltage that then drives the motor and then consequently changes the speed. Even the controller itself is beautifully engineered. And again, coming down to the bottom here, uh, what we can see is there are three adjustable legs which allow you to level the turntable. Uh, we used a little um, sits over the spindle, so it's got a little. Uh, Spirit level, that's what I was looking for. Spirit level uh, in there, which will allow you to get your turntable. These you, you can actually buy these off Amazon. In fact, I'd recommend that's where you get them because all you need it to do is simply level the turntable. Leveling the turntable actually is very important because if you consider that the, the needle of your cartridge is in an ideal world to sit centrally in the groove, if your turntable is not completely level, then it may put pressure on the left or the right hand side which would perhaps then affect things like separation in the sound stage or even tr the ability to track the record correctly. Um, so there we go, um, that's pretty much uh, the Solid Wood MPX from Acoustic Solid. So there we go, um, as the Acoustic Solid website says, music is the language of passion and I think Anybody that's into music understands that statement very clearly. And it's obvious when a component brings that passion or connects you emotionally to your vinyl collection or whatever your source of music is. And one thing for certain, the acoustic solid turntables do that and they do it in spades. So to make this process or allow you to experience this at first hand, we would absolutely love you to have one of these. We're going to do two things. One. Uh, we're going to do a special offer price on this video and um, the grant will then pop up, you'll see it in a second or two and also along with that we can do 12 months interest free credit on this turntable too. So all in all it makes the acquisition of it as painless as it's possible to be for a £3,000 turntable. We will also back that up with our 30 day money back guarantee that we mentioned earlier on and genuinely, if you hear this, it's going to be love at first sight, love at first listen, and it'll be one of those things that you will not want to go to your bed because you'll be sitting there till three in the morning with your glass of wine, beer, whatever your favourite tipple is, and your records scattered all over the floor. And um, I know that drives some people crazy. Oh my God, they're going to get scratched, but it's just a sign you've had a good night and listened to great music. So, uh, oh, um, Please like our Facebook page, I know Grant's always telling me to remind you to do that. The reason being is that we have a lot of things that appear on our social media uh, before anywhere else, so it's the place to be if you want to get the up-to-date news of what's happening. Um, drop us an email if you have an idea for a video you would like to see, uh, something like say, Dave and I do. Um, we, we did consider doing the tobogganing of the couch down a snowy mountain top. We just need to find one within a two mile radius which makes it quite difficult. We've got Kelly Law, which is just up the road. Um, you wouldn't quite, cla uh, quite class it as a mountain, it's more like a molehill, but you know, you could easily trip over and hurt yourself, so there's a, definitely a, an element of risk there. And also, uh, come and visit us. We're in a beautiful location. We had one of our clients come up from the world earlier this morning and said hello. It's very easy to find, and parking is dead simple. It's, the, the surroundings are incredible. We've got St Andrews just up the road. The East of Fife is on our doorstep. So even if you want to tie in having a listen to some great audio equipment along with visiting some of the, 
most spectacular scenery anywhere in Scotland, what better place to come than here? Anyway, yet another epic and magnificent lifting the lid. So from myself, Mark, it's goodbye. And from Dave, it's goodbye from me. We will speak to you all very soon indeed. Thanks for tuning in today. You do know Dave's not there, don't you? No, no, he actually he's, he's, he's not. He's no, not. Can I, can he's I, really, really I've not. Heard them, can I, I've heard them talking. I don't know. Step um, away, Caroline. Is it supposed to step away from the TV, Caroline? I can't remember <laughs> what it was. It's such a long time since I saw that film. Classic line. I think Grant, Grant, step away. It's fine. I'll just get Rachel to phone that number we've got for emergencies. Yeah. Just, just in case. I mean. Dave, I don't. He does it all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he died of a dog like that. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. He is there, I'm telling you. The viewers can see him. He's definitely there.